We're walking 60 miles to Topeka uh, to parents, uh, teachers, school board members, other concerned community members, and they're walking to raise awareness um, for the different issues facing Kansas public schools right now, uh, primarily funding, but there are other um, related issues in the legislature, and generally trying to raise awareness with parents and community members and to help ensure that legislators understand that um, we're paying attention and we're not pleased with the direction things are heading right now in terms of public schools. Frankly, they don't listen to the State Board of Education. They don't listen to these people. <laughs> they don't listen to any of us. They don't listen to our educators. They don't listen to our administrators. But they do listen to you. And so, so you've gotten a few things kind of stopped. So please continue what you're doing. You know how bad it's getting. And they can tell you whatever they want to tell you about this new block grant and how we're going to take a break. What they want to do is give less money to schools. Bottom line, it's less money. You're rating $1 million from the bank of KDOT. But, but the next fiscal year after that, you know what? The bank of KDOT will run out. Really run out. And that fiscal year, our state budget is projected to be $1 billion short. There will be no more one-time pots of money to raise to raid. How are we going to run our schools? My daughter's in fifth grade at a public school, and my son's going to be starting kindergarten this fall. And it's incredibly important to me to know that when I'm casting my votes in favor of public education in Topeka, to know that you all are here at home, to know that you're engaged to know that this matters to you as much as, I would say, since you're getting ready to walk in the freezing cold, probably even more than it does to me.